who so I got into over my head so a lot of these bearings were had uh, water damage rusted so I had to replace a lot of bearings a lot of gears a lot of chains but they are ready now took us a few days they're ready let's get to it Oh, it's early morning and we have a lot of stuff to do. Oh my goodness. So we have a big uh, equipment shuffle we have to do to get ready. I have uh, a few uh, bad news, I think. Good news uh, that happened. So we're going to get all this equipment shuffled over here. I'm going to probably park this, uh, my beast here. 305 tillage beast. All right, so uh, there's a few things I want to do. First, I got to probably move this gooseneck so I can uh, get these two tractors out from behind here. And then I think I'm, yeah, I gotta move a lot of stuff around. But uh, I think our new 50 series we picked up here would work perfect for that. So I'm gonna get this unhitched put this jack down on this uh, eight row planter here there we go that's done there we go uh, go over here oh, wait forgot to feed poor Gina this morning there you go Gina I'll throw your ball later once that food gets digested all right, so I think I can skirt in right behind that disc, move our uh, seed, seed. We're going to need that anyway, so I'm just going to move that out of the way so we can uh, fill up our planters this afternoon. All right. Oh, man, that's going to be close. Am I going to have enough room? Move that up to that ball. Here we go. I am extremely close right there. Am I going to be able to skirt this thing out? Okay. Wow. Just barely. I'm trying to think where I want to put this. So I can easily get them pallets off of that trailer too. Not be too much in the way. I think I'll put it just right here for now. All right, so that's out. Okay, uh, need to get the old eagle out and these two tractors, but I think I need to move this uh, my tillage beast out of the way. I'll probably just back it up here. So then I can pull in because our new disc I want to put into our shed for uh, basically it's summer vacation. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's start this up and let it warm up. Uh, I'm sure you already know this is uh, Timmy's uh, favorite tractor here. I'm sure you can see why. This thing is a giant articulating beast here. did hear Grant has a bigger Massey though, so a little bit more horsepower. You, you notice, you know, his his Massey really puts a huge, uh, let's say, tread pattern in the field, so this thing's gonna float in that field. Might have to find some bigger uh, tires to put on this thing. Alright, so... Uh, Leave this right here. I think I'll just leave it running for now. Pull that eagle out. So then I need to put the Alice in the 4840 on the trailer. So we'll get that loaded up. It's like we probably need to wash off our trailer too. Let's get the air running in this. Put 
Let that air build up. All right, so uh, 55 series can stay. 50 series. Uh, yeah. So one of the reasons why we're doing equipment shuffle is the banks wants us to trade some equipment or tractors. So if you know, I don't have a harvester and I went big go big or you go home and I went really big so uh, that's why you don't see much equipment or that's why we're doing a little equipment shuffle right now all right uh, pull this truck out here and I know that's probably not gonna be a popular uh, thing for a lot of you I mean the 4840 is a beast we didn't really use that Alice for much stuff really is that gonna be good yeah. So, uh, it just figured that's probably a tractor that we're going to uh, trade in for new, but we're going to get more. So, I do have a lot of green equipment on this farm, and I need some more red. So, I need to get some red equipment. I mean, look, I got green planters, John Deere planters, and I both of these planters are kind of old. Do have a Kinsey over there. Have a 55 series. Have a John Deere disc. I, I mean, I got plenty of green stuff. I need to get some more red around here. So, yeah, we'll we'll put the lighter tractor on the front. Go. Uh. Yeah, back this up man I don't like that angle this trailer sitting at yeah I'm gonna have to move that move it down there's a flat spot I think I'm gonna have to move it all the way here I don't really have a flat driveway for convenience of uh, trailering equipment that don't look bad I don't have the truck completely aligned but that international can take it Drive this up on there. So I am in a little bit of hurry because I want to get both of my fields in today. It's almost, you know, it's getting down to last days of planting. Uh, weather station on the radio basically said there's a there's a chance of rain coming in the near tomorrow. So I'd like to get everything, the seeds in the ground. That's for sure. Oh. oh, there we go. There we go. Just got to unhitch it here. Let it warm up and idle out once we unhitch it. Ooh, we got to fit in between here somehow. Can't get in there. Drop the pan. Undo the hydraulics. All right. All right, we are ready to go now. This one's going to be a little bit easier because we're just going to drive this straight on. Put this for the weight in the back there. Alright, I think that's good. So, beans we have the old Alice here running. I'm going to back that up. I think I'm going to put the disc... Yeah, I'll back the disc up as best I can right there, so that way our disc is in our shed. Really need some more uh, cold storage here. Another building or so. Especially after our big purchase. Barely missed that side of that building there. Alright, so we got it uh, jammed all the way. We don't hardly have any room. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to jump over my tire to get around there. But uh, we don't have much cold storage. We got to jam it in as best we can. Alright, now I got to jump over this. Uh. Man, that was hard jumping over that, so 
Alright, so this is best we can. I know that chisel, I'd much rather have my drill planters in there, but uh, we might have to put them in later, so. Got these things running over here, so. Got my international running. Alright, so I got that uh, weight spread out fairly good, I hope. So, got some weight in the front, weight in the back. So we are ready to head to the John Deere dealership. Now, I hope this international plays alright when it's pulling the John Deere. Sometimes internationals don't like pulling the deers, so... Uh, I hope it's gonna be alright. Don't want to ditch another uh, tractor, that's for sure. Yep. Gotta make sure I'm nice and careful. Going around our nasty driveway here. Turn that wide, that's for sure. Alright, we are headed down the our little valley now. Alright. Pull this beast over here. Make sure I miss that bridge. Train tracks really bouncing tractors. Don't want to lose anything there. Make sure we're gonna miss this overhang here. Whoo! Oh man, this is closer than what I thought it was going to be. I want to make that close call again. So I know you're no one's a fan of selling tractors, but uh. Blame Wells Fargo there. So I basically had to purchase this. So either that or I had to have uh, my fields custom harvested. So didn't think that was a, going to be a great idea. So uh, I convinced my banker by selling a few tractors or trading a few tractors. I can get this brand new 9600 fresh off the factory floor. Man, I will be the envy of all the farmers around here. Uh, let me pull this in here. Make sure I'm going to miss that turn there. Alright, so we're going to get these. Uh, tractors unloaded here so this was a hard decision right here getting rid of this uh, 4840 uh, I mean I just love the sound of this old beast the look of this old beast how much this is one heck of a you know pulling tractor it's got the tank extension on there gas tank extension not gas uh, diesel tank extension but it's got a comfort cab or and I mean it is just a dr great tractor I mean I was really kicking like do I really want to do this do I really want to push this button this uh, 200 Alice Chalmers did nothing wrong to us great tractor you know had no issues with it whatsoever but basically to purchase this beast here 260 horses it's got a grain tank extension this is brand new fresh off the factory floor so this has like a serial number of like 322 so only you know 321 of these were built before this beast here 
So we got it on a 30 foot head here. Little John Deere head. Uh, 630F. We got a huge eight row corn head here. So I know, I know this corn head's a little bit too new, but uh, I couldn't find a used uh, older corn head. So we'll have to deal with that. But this thing is going to be amazing. Look at all this new technology in here. So, I mean, we got indications, everything radio it's got the you know hydrostatic uh three speed i believe three operating speed or maybe four can't remember but uh, i mean this this cab this thing is like look at this thing there isn't a speck of dirt on here just a great cab got a great easy uh seeing view of your grain there so this is a conventional harvester so i to be honest i was looking hard for an axle flow case harvester but uh it just didn't work out i thought i had one purchased a 1480 uh that thing is a great freaking axle flow but once i took it to the mechanic there was some major issues with it, so I, I ended up not not freaking sealing that deal and ended up going this way. And now I had to sell uh, tractors to do it. So I know, I know it's not the most uh, popular thing. So I am going to load this up. The dealership has uh, basically uh, got it ready for us. So off after its transportation it is fully ready so we are ready for harvest and I promised you I was gonna pick up something red we got an old white 2270 here so uh, uh, I ended up picking this up used so this is a used uh, basically old tractor that I, I just couldn't let go so I, I know this is kind of odd you know I'm selling a Massey getting a white getting a John Deere harvester but this thing is a beast to be honest I was looking for uh, something case case makes some good old harvesters but couldn't find an axle flow around this the local area that would uh, appease or uh, basically be ready to go nothing like this brand new uh, harvester is so anyways we're gonna get this thing loaded up get it back to our uh, farmyard there and uh, hopefully start planting right away all right where is the key this thing is all new all right here we go oh, 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 oh. there we go sounds healthy doesn't it all right uh, I think we just moved this uh, hydro to the rear there we go get this thing loaded onto the trailer here quickly man them mirrors just do not help me out whatsoever I'm gonna have to adjust them all right I tried but I can't get this Harvester is made too wide for that trailer, so uh, not gonna be pulling this thing back. I'll probably have to road it back, so we'll get this thing back sometime today. Leave that beast there for now. We'll, I'm gonna put this old uh, white tractor and uh, get this thing loaded up. Ooh, there we go. All right, this thing is loaded up. I'll let them get a loader so I can uh, put on that uh, corn head and we should be headed home. All right, we'll strap this thing down here. And uh, chain this white tractor and we should be ready to go home. Start this back up.
sure we're gonna make that turn there. Make sure that head's going to miss that bridge right there. Alright, um, hopefully we can make it home without no incidents. Everything looks like it's riding alright so far. Alright, we are roading this uh, big harvester down the road. Oh, wow. This 30 foot head is kind of hard getting down this road here. Uh oh. Just realized something. Is this going to make it through our gate? Gotta miss our mailbox here. Wow. This might be close. Alright, we uh, just barely, just barely, 35 foot head, I don't even think they make them 35 foot heads, yep, that ain't gonna fit through that, oh, they make 35 foot heads yet, I don't know if they did or not, alright, we are gonna somehow get this in our uh, barn here, all right, couldn't fit that through my door here, so. Let's see if we can back this thing up in here. Try that one more time. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Watch out for our big Massey. Alright, that thing just barely fits in here. Whew! You want to talk about a close fit? I mean, wow. Had to move around that tire when I came down the ladder. Gotta make sure I don't cut myself on this ditch. Or this, uh, disc. Whew! I think I could still get my international. So the international had to sit over here with the John Deere and uh, Massey. Couldn't figure out where to put this uh, head yet, so I might have to uh, move some stuff around. I might just uh, put it on a trailer and scoot it down in this building. Might be a good spot for it. All right, now we're gonna unload this white. I want to put it on one of my uh, planters, so. That is the plan. Get this unloaded. And then I'm going to park my uh, old International back in the shed. It's going to have to play nice with the John Deere in there. And then we will start uh, filling up our planters. And I hopefully we are ready to plant. I'll leave this about right here for now. Sorry, Gina. You're gonna have to uh, here. Let me pick up this ball. Skirt this trailer in. Make sure we don't hit our new duels right there. Ooh. Uh oh. Gonna have to pull forward a little bit. Cut it. I'm hoping I can get this trailer in here. This isn't an easy task by any means. Probably should have parked this before the harvester over there. All right, it's in there. They're packed in there like sardines. I could probably even get my 55 series after I get done planting. Man, I will almost have all of our expensive equipment. Hopefully that shed doesn't burn down. All right, so we're gonna I'm gonna put this 55. So this this is gonna be extreme overkill, but a little bit of new technology on the old planter. Oh well. So I like this as a planting tractor. So it's gonna pull the eight row. And the little white will pull the six row, and hopefully I'll get my wife out here. We'll try to knock out our, uh, going to plant one bean of corn, one field of corn, one field of beans, and hopefully get them both planted. Get this starts up. All right. Park. There we go.
All right, we'll go over here, hook up our eight row. And basically, these planters are just going to probably get me by this year. So, hopefully I can use that Kinsey next year. Alright, hook that up. Don't have a lot of stuff to hook up here. Just one hydraulics, and that's it. Alright, we've got our seed loaded up. So we'll shut these doors, and then I need to open up my fertilizer doors here. Jump over here. All right, so, all right, now we got all of our fertilizer loaded up. So, uh, eight row is ready to go, I hope. All right, I'm just backing this up. You know, I think I'm going to work uh, smarter, not harder. I do have a new little uh, toy around the farm here. Old Red here. Old little Red. Got a little chore tractor or chore... In Piece here so I'm gonna use this to lift up them pallets so I can uh, basically just slide them ba heavy bags right off start this thing up here I did pick this up so I know I've been picking up a lot of pieces of equipment but you would never understand how much you would use a skid steer on the farm Oop. Oop. getting a little bit used to the controls almost did a bad one there I have to try to get this uh, pallet off. I think I'm going to try to get this pallet off the front here. It's possible. Alright, there we go. I know that was a lot of work, but now we can just uh, move these bags right off. Go from one row to the other. Just slide them off there. Be nice and easy for us. Means we got this piece of equipment. All right, so it looks like them are done. Put this to the side here. We should be ready to go with both planters. Let's get into this field. All right, we are planting away here. Got both planters running. I did check the seed placement, so basically. The seed placement is not always going to be perfect with these uh, planters. They, uh, back in the 60s, they did not have the technology as in the 80s, but uh, for the most part, it's almost the same. Uh, but uh, some of the seed shoot and all that stuff, a little bit different, but uh, we might not have a perfect seed placement or whatever, but we'll at least get the seeds in the ground, and that is the only way you'll be able to harvest. I know, that kind of probably sounds a little bit cliche. Uh-oh. Wife's having a little bit of problems over here. Gonna have to fix her. Alright. Go over there. Pick up the planter. Turn this. I know this is a little bit of overkill, having this big old 55 series on this planter. Alright, we are good to go here, but uh, sometimes uh, you want to sit in luxury. That's why we gave the wifey the open station, and we are sitting pretty in our air-conditioned cab here. Got a radio, got everything we need. This should be the last corn field we got to plant. And then we got to plant one more field of beans. Got to change the planters over. Put some bean seed. And then uh, we should be done with uh, 1989's planting season. Hopefully. We don't have to replant, that is. Almost done with this. Raise the planter. So we did bring our trailer over here. Raise that. Turn it hard. Drop the row marker and we are ready to start up again. Uh oh, we did a little stoppage right there. Don't want to 
want to do that. So, uh, hoping my wife stays pretty straight because of our uh, eight row corn head. Definitely don't want to have any gaps or anything like that. So, she needs to stay as straight as possible when she is uh, planting there. Oh man, she uh, turned around nicely that time. That's good. Finally, I think she's getting the hang of it, which is nice. So we got the whole field planted. I'm just going around the outside skirts of it, planting a little headland pass. Yeah, and uh, we'll get this all done. But uh, my wife is already over there, started on the soybeans, starting on the last field. So we are knocking it out. So it, I've listened to the radio and the radio said that the rain is coming here real soon, so uh, hopefully it will hold out until we get that soybean field done planting. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in the 80s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.